the journey inward can be made in many different ways. One of those ways is called the Camino. By now you must have heard of it, because this pilgrimage through Spain to Santiago de Compostela is gaining popularity every year. What is the difference in walking these sacred lands alone or in a group? Everything booked ahead or going on the fly? Hi, we are Jen. Hi, I'm Jen. <laughs> and Robert. Hi, we are Jen and Robert. <laughs> Guys, we are Jen and Robert. And this is her fourth and my second community. a new dawn and a new Camino. Welcome to my fourth vlog. I'm walking the Camino Frances again, but it's different this time. The former vlogs were about my adventures. This time I'm taking a group with me for the first time. 10 new peregrinos and I'm their group leader together with Robert. Um, and we're gonna spend five weeks together walking from Saint Jean to Santiago de Compostela. And I'm gonna show you their adventures and how they experience it. So enjoy the ride. Why am I walking the Camino? I think uh, it's just uh, practicing being here. Just walking and being here. Are you looking for something? Not yet. Not yet. Maybe. Who knows? Later. So how was day one? It's uh, uh, better than I expected. Much better. I'm really enjoying the views. Walking above the clouds. It's beautiful. Now more and more people have found their way to the way, the most popular route, the Camino Frances, is becoming busier than a few years ago. It's nice, all those documentaries and TV shows about it, but at what point does a pilgrimage become a tourist trap, is what some of the more original pilgrims are asking. Don't worry, you can still do the Camino, even the French one, with absolutely no one around for miles. in the middle of Pamplona on Plaza del Castillo and there the cafe is called uh, Cafe Iruña and it's the a famous place because the writer Hemingway used to come there. And it is closed. Cheers! and uh, the pain of walking and being here for so long and getting to know myself. And what have you found already? Uh, I have had a lot of tears in the first <laughs> few, few days already. What are you letting go? Stress, emotions.
So getting back to the questions I started at the beginning, the difference between walking alone and walking in a group is that soloists can decide everything for themselves. When they eat, with whom, where they sleep, how far they walk. That is, if they don't book ahead. Not knowing what comes is magical to me, but for a lot of people it's scary. It does not make you less of a pilgrim if you book your night ahead or if you use the backpack service. Let's not judge each other here. We are all pilgrims of life, aren't we? walking from Estella to Los Arcos, you have two options, two routes. Make sure to take the one that goes through the forest. It's amazingly beautiful. Sometimes I just cannot breathe in the beauty. I mean, I'm looking at it and it's just too much for me. It's like, it's too much. I cannot take in the beauty. I'm so blessed. Yeah. Hola. <laughs> if you have seen my former videos, you know that I'm a fan of dancing. Since you all liked that part best in the last vlog, here we go. Hoe mooi ik het vind. Nou, dit gaat tot in mijn diepste. Dit komt er zo uit. Dit is super mooi. Hier. So, if you're new to the pilgrim community or planning your very first Camino, there's a few things you should know. Let's call them unwritten guidelines. The main thing is that you respect the people who work here. In the hostels, at the restaurants. Lekker. They are here to support your needs, so please leave your dorm rooms clean. Also respect nature, bring a trash bag on your walks. Don't listen to loud music because you will scare away the animals and other pilgrims maybe. And also if you've had a drink on a terrace, just bring your dishes inside. It's the simple things. My feet don't hurt today. Yay! Um, 
the environment, the music, uh, the, the atmosphere, how do you call it? Mm. It's just overwhelming and I'm happy. Mm. <laughs> Santiago de Compostela uh, because I would like to find more about myself and eventually hoping to love myself more and others as well. Mm, how are you finding it so far? Beautiful uh, and confronting but more more beautiful than anything else. Mm, feelings of anger, self-hate. Really? Uh, not to an extreme extent because I've got, got self-love in me but there's still uh, pieces in my past that I haven't processed and I find myself not always in a good position and I'm trying to find out why I felt that way and how I can also uh, see it as a, as a positive. Let's talk about front doors, because I love them. I love how they can tell so much about the person living there, but they also leave a lot up to our imagination. How are you today? Fine. <laughs> Very fine. <laughs> How are you today? Fine. <laughs> Early in the morning. <laughs> How are you today, Isabel? I'm doing fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for a massage. Well, a, a relaxation <laughs> massage. Can you tell me something about <laughs> yeah, that? Yeah, <laughs> we, we had an, a massage and the woman kept saying, Relax! <laughs> Relax! <laughs> and, well, it wasn't really relaxing, was it? It wasn't relaxing at all. <laughs> kilometers after Hontanas you will find these beautiful ruins look at that as a pilgrim you will walk underneath those pillars
So about walking in a group, I learned that the perks of traveling together are that you have mates with you to support you. You get to know each other fast and deeply. You get to play a game together, laugh your asses off, send each other directions, and you know that there's always someone to wait for your arrival or to have dinner with. It gives a feeling of community, especially when you intercept annoyances, speak from your heart, and learn more about where the other person is coming from. If everyone is willing to be vulnerable, you can heal together and go through the magic of the Camino together. And funnily enough, mostly looking back at the journey, you learned things that you did not know you were looking for. I guess that what I'm saying is that either option, either walking solo or in a group, has its own kind of magic. pillars I just walked through, they are the halfway point of the French Camino, officially. If it's really the middle, I think not. <laughs> oh, and this amazing spot in Reliegos is Albergue Las Hadas. You can get vegan food here and a dog. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Nola, ik ben zo dankbaar dat ik dit mocht doen. En ik heb met Janneke een fijn gesprek over oma en opa. En ik kom er nu gewoon achter dat ik heel veel verdriet over heb dingen heb gehad. Maar ik ben zo trots, want ik sta nu wel hier door hun. En je bent zo'n mooi kind en ik ben zo blij dat ik hier mocht zijn. En ik wil graag dat je op deze weg verder gaat. Ik hou van je. Tot snel.
One of my favorite parts of the Camino is preparing people for the highest point, the Cruz de Ferro. It's the Iron Cross on the mountain of stones where people leave something behind, mostly a rock, which stands for all the things they want to let go of. You can make a beautiful ritual out of it. This place tears me up every time. Wat ben je aan het doen? De beentjes aan het strekken. <laughs> Van het straatje. Hey, goede ideeën wel. <laughs> Let's get a little more personal towards the ending. Guiding this group was challenging and enriching for us. It was our pilot program and we learned a lot, especially on what to do differently next time, but also about ourselves. And we enjoyed these people too, with their jokes and wisdom and beauty and differences. The adventure asked of Robert and myself to be the best team we could be. Before this Camino, we had been friends and lovers for the last two and a half years. It is the love for the Camino actually that first bonded us. But honestly, we had lost each other a bit before starting this adventure. We didn't know that this was exactly what we needed. The journey with this group brought the two of us exceptionally close together.
you meet the first week or the third week and then you don't see them for weeks and then you see them here and it's just amazing. Feeling great, uh, Yannick. This is such an amazing experience to finally be there. I made it! Yeah! I didn't like walking. I did not like walking, but uh, I did it. So I do like it now, but not so many kilometers. <laughs> We would like to thank all of our 10 pilgrims who have chosen us as guides, but also to have guided us. Each one of you was an important part of this outcome. For the rest of you watching, we are wishing for you the call of the Camino de Santiago and that it might bring exactly what you need. You can watch the other Camino vlogs on my YouTube channel. So thank you for watching and buen camino! Ha <laughs> <laughs>